जुनेटिक काउंसलिंग जुनेटिक काउंसलिंग इज अ प्रोसेस दैट डील्स विद द पेशेंट्स और विद द रिलेटिव और फैमिली मेंबर्स दैट आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम इनहेरिटेड डिसऑर्डर्स इन दिस प्रोसेस जुनेटिक काउंसलर्स एडवाइज द पेशेंट्स और द रिलेटिव अबाउट द कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस ऑफ द डिजीज दैट वॉट कैन हैपन इन फ्यूचर और करंटली वॉट कैन हैपन टू द पेशेंट और इज देयर एनी रिस्क टू द फैमिली मेंबर्स और नॉट इट विल ऑल्सो टेल द पेशेंट अबाउट द कम्प्लीट नेचर ऑफ द डिसऑर्डर देन जुनेटिक काउंसलर्स put uh, explain the chances of developing the disease and transmitting it to the family members keep in mind that the inherited disorders which are also known as genetic disorders are not at all contagious but if the couple is carrier of any gene mutation then they can transfer the genetic disorder to the offspring so in such situations genetic counselor open the options in front of the patient or in front of the family members that the choice is of patient's own regarding the management and the family planning issues now what is genetic counselor genetic counselor usually have a master degree in genetic counseling but people from the field of biology and nursing are also moving towards uh, this field of genetic counseling now as a genetic counselor one should have a complete understanding and adaptation to the medical to the physiological and familial applications of genetic contribution to diseases now these genetic counselors they work as a team and they uh, once they come to know that this family is suffering from the genetic disorder then they interpret the family and medical histories draw a pedigree then they have a duty to educate such people about the inheritance of the genetic disorders about gene testing about the management of the disorder then how they can prevent the uh, transmission of the disease from the parent to the offspring and what are the resources that can flare up the disease so genetic counselor somehow promote informed choices and adaptation to the uh, patient health risk now genetic counseling session structure is divided into five phases intake phase initial contact encounter phase summary phase and the follow up phase now keep in mind that the intake phase and the follow up phase takes place outside the session while initial contact is the contact of the genetic counselor with the patient or with the relatives in encounter phase there is a dialogue exchange between the genetic counselor and the affected individual while in summary phase genetic counselor put all the option, options in front of the patient so that they can choose the uh, techniques or the methods for management and for family planning now uh, genetic counseling is required when there is a family history of genetic disorder for example the couples are carrier of cystic fibrosis then what are the chances that their offspring will be affected and what is the importance of prenatal testing uh, just to diagnose the abnormality in the new need then molecular test can be performed if there is a single gene disorder for example in case of phenyl ketone urea now genetic counseling is also required when there is increased maternal age that is above 35 years or increased paternal age that is above 40 years so uh, agar maa ki umar 35 se zyada hai ya baap ki umar 40 years se zyada hai again genetic counseling is required then genetic counseling is required if the test such as alpha fetoprotein in a uh, maternal serum is positive so any abnormality which is found in the maternal serum screening results then in this case genetic counseling is there then abnormal ultrasound also requires genetic counseling when the down syndrome features appear in the infants strong family history of cancer predictive testing of adult uh, where the uh, conditions 
uh, get open at the age of 40 or later such as Alzheimer's disease.